How many people watching this video have tried wood carving before? 10%? 30%? 60%? Now, how many of those carvers have tried carving a hair before? Not many, I bet. Maybe 5%? What's the point of this intro? Um, I have no idea, but I'm going to be doing a lot of relief carving over the coming weeks, and I'm hoping to make it educational as well as a little bit fun with my winning British sense of humour. So now let's hop into the world of relief carving. Hop like a hare. I always like to start my relief carvings by figuring out the border first and I like to do it with the flat chisel rather than the V chisel because I feel like it's more accurate and you get a bit more control with it. Another couple of things I learned when scoring a line with a flat chisel is that you don't really want to come straight in like this and score along. It's always better to come in and angle with the chisel just because it's easier to push the chisel and also you can control it a lot easier. And I think just because there's less of the chisel pushing against the surface, it means it goes through a lot easier than it would if it was flat. And also one step that's quite important to take at the start is to make your first cut pretty shallow because if you push really hard, then you can slip and the chisel can go flying off and you can ruin your carving. So if you push slowly and not so deep, not so hard on the first cut, then you can give yourself a nice line to work from then the next line you can push in a lot harder because it will be guided by the previous line kind of like a like a track with a lot of the background taken down i now am actually going to use the v chisel but just to get an outline on the hair so then i can take away material in the other direction so we can get kind of a, a sort of piece of wood that's sticking out I thought I was going to have to do wood carving for the rest of my life, but luckily I've uh, just been contacted by Bella from Tiger Recruitment and been offered Flexibles roles, so... So I've made it. So now with the background cut down, I'm just going to start shaping out these legs and stuff just to give it more of a 3D appearance doing something a bit like this. I'm just going to start shaping these oversized ears now and the reason I wanted to show this part is because I'm just going to show you how I kind of layer stuff so we have cut a line there so I want this ear to be below that ear so what we can do is just kind of take another cut under there and immediately even without doing the rest of it you can already see that this ear kind of belongs below that ear just because of that cut now not only because the grain is kind of weird but there's some really tiny little parts now that I can't quite get to with chisels so I bought these uh, little scraper things a few years back and uh, they've helped me quite a lot with cleaning out tiny little areas so I'm gonna try and use those now and see what we can do now comes the absolute best part oiling time And as always, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters for chucking money at me to help me make these videos.
Our next relief video carving will be this flower here. And how can you make sure you don't miss it? Well, subscribe.